down, everybody. It is your main course, Little Pancake, and welcome back to the finale of the What Basketball Players I Would Beat in a Fight. We've got a lot of people to go through today, so I'm going to do it kind of quickly. So, yeah, let's just get right into it and start ranking people. This guy right here, he's got a little goatee, which, you know, I because I, I don't. I, w I was asking, do you know what that means? If you have a goatee? Because, like, I would associate it with goats. I've always associated goatee with goats, right? Goats, they have horns, right? Horns are something you can grab onto and break. You know, it's a slight weakness as long as you don't get jabbed with the horn. So if you take the horn, you can snap the horn off, stab it with its own horn. That's an easy W for me. All right, next up we have Kyrie Irving. I know who that guy is. Um, he's kind of intimidating because he's got a nice beard and lots of hair, which you don't see very often. So that's like, that. that's telling me like I should probably stay away from this guy. I'm gonna say I'm gonna take the L to this guy. This guy right here. I, I, I don't wanna be mean here. But he's got a dumb face, okay? Like, I'm sure he's a very smart person, probably, maybe. But his face from this little snippet looks very dumb. Like, he looks like the guy in a movie that's just the comic relief bad guy. That's an easy outsmart for me. You know, I'm going to outsmart him. I'm going to be outsmarting him. But he does, he's probably going to be very strong. I'm going to say just win. All right, next up we have this guy right here. Very long neck, fairly large ears, but not huge ears. I feel like this guy is probably really tall, right? So that's going to be tough for me to take out a tall guy if he's can if he can hit a stiff arm on me. So if I can get in there and get to the legs, you know, chop him out at the knees, then I've got a chance. I'm going to say toss up here. Okay, next up we have LeBron James. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put that in SmackDown. Now, okay, okay, I, I know, I know, I'm hearing you, I'm hearing you. All you LeBron simps out there are like, oh my gosh, he's the greatest player of all time, and he's so awesome, and he's so strong, why would you, how would you smack him down? Well, I have a perfectly logical reason. He doesn't have referees to help him out. Chew on that. Alright, he's just going to go in there, and I'm going to be like, oh, I almost poked you in the eye. And he's going to be like, oh my god, that's a foul. Oh. It's easy. He's going to quit, probably. Next up, this guy. He looks, you know, he's. I can see some tattoos on his shoulders, which tattoos are kind of intimidating to me because it's like you willingly put yourself through pain just so your body would look weird, which is an interesting concept for me to grasp for sure. I'm going to take the L on that one, I do believe. Okay, next up, we got another guy with a goatee, but he's got a little mustache as well so you know you got goatee you got the antler you are horns ho not antlers there's a big difference between horns and antlers if you didn't know i'm gonna be able to grab his horns rip it off but he's got the little mustache so you know that gives him better seeing abilities right he's got big ears so his sights are gonna be enhanced i mean his his senses his senses are gonna be enhanced all five of them maybe six i don't know that's probably gonna be an l for me uh, i'm gonna say toss up actually okay next up we have this guy it's early. It looks like a very compact person. Kind of like... I would say I probably have a pretty good chance against him. I feel like, you know, compact people, they've got... Their organs are more dense, right? So, a nice hit to the stomach, you know, that's going to slosh around all of his organs, right? A, a big, big person, it's going to just hit like one or two. But him, it's going to knock all of his organs out of place. So, that's an easy W. Okay, next up we have this guy right here. L little weird looking hair, which is gonna make me think that he's an interesting person. He's gonna make interesting choices during the fight, which might throw me off. So I'm just gonna have to counter back with even more interesting choices, which is gonna throw him off. So we're both gonna be thrown off. We're both just gonna be confused and it's gonna be a toss up. All right, now we got this guy. who has a very childish face, kind of like, like a baby face a little bit, which you know leads me to believe that he's gonna be He's going to fight like a child, right? Which is intimidating because kids have no remorse at all. Kids have no morals. I'm, I'm going to take the L on this one. Okay, next up we have this guy. His hair is tipped with red, and I can only assume that the they're dipped in the blood of his enemies, which is quite concerning. Uh, So yeah, he's going to destroy me because I'm just going to run away. I got no shame. 
I got no shame. I I know my I know my uh limits. Yeah, that's the word I was looking for. Okay, next up we got this guy. Looks kind of like a ghost. He's very pale. Okay, which I'm also very pale. The room's kind of dark is why I don't look as pale. He's gonna it's gonna hurt my eyes when he first walks in, right? He's gonna walk in, he's gonna take his shirt off and be like, oh god. Then he's gonna land the first punch, no problem. I, I have to keep my eyes above him, which is gonna give him a disadvantage, because it'll blind me if I stare directly into it. So I'm going toss up. Okay, next up we got this guy right here. I'm gonna say I just win this one because you know he's got big ears, which is somewhat concerning, but I feel like I got a pretty good chance against him. Alright, next up we got this guy. Big forehead. So that's gonna be an easy W for me, no problem. Okay, next up, this guy right here. He looks very mean. Like, he looks like he's just got a grudge against every person he meets. He's he's gonna beat me. I, I yeah. Alright, next up we got this guy. He looks like he was a math tutor in high school, right? He helped out his fellow students in high school and he was part of the robotics club. He just so happened to accidentally play basketball one day and he was really good at it. So yeah, that's a that's an easy W for me. Alright, next up we got this guy. Very big head like wide head which you know you would think big head would be cohesive with big brain but i think it's the opposite actually maybe i'm gonna say just win though because he, he seems like he's got powerful punches if he can land some all right next up we got this guy right here big nose very long nose which you know that's a bigger target to break should i break his nose you know or is that just gonna make him mad because a nose break isn't that vital you know i'm gonna first thing i do i'm gonna see that nose i'm gonna break it and he's just gonna get mad and then he's just gonna pick me up and throw me so uh i'm going i'm going l all right next up damian lillard he looks mad he looks upset he looks like i just killed his dog john wick you saw what he did when someone killed his dog i feel like damian lillard was gonna go for the same thing don't think it's gonna be as successful i think i'm gonna be able to counter him i think i'm gonna be able to do a good job against him and honestly, I don't know who will come out on top, so we're going to say toss up there. Okay, next up we got this guy right here. He's got a very long neck, you know, which it might be an advantage for him, honestly, because he can poke that neck out and headbutt me, right? And a headbutt is very, very useful in many scenarios. I think I'm going to win very small ears. Like, get some bigger ears, dude. I'm going just win there. All right, next up we have this guy right here. Well, again with the goatee, and this guy's got a mustache that comes down to the goatee, which is very nice. If it was me, I would shave off that middle part, have a Fu Manchu, but you know, dude, you do you, all right? But that does make me think that he does not have the best um, critical thinking, you know, to have a goatee instead of a Fu Manchu that just doesn't make logical sense. So that's just gonna be an easy W for me. All right, next up we have Stephen Curry. Curry, or something like that. He's gonna be pretty good. I feel like he's got very good aim, right? He's got he's one of the best three point shooters of all time. So he's gonna be able to hit me right, and just pop, pop. And he's not gonna miss. So I'm gonna say L. I'm gonna say L. All right, next up we have a uh, Jason Momoa. He's gonna destroy me. Um, have you seen that man? Have, have you seen Aquaman? I don't stand a chance. Next up, this guy. He's got a bald head, right, which is an advantage for him. But smooth head, smooth brain. Hmm. Is that a connection I just made, or yeah, yeah? I think it is. I think it is. I'm gonna say that's uh, probably probably just win right there. All right, next up, Trey Young. He looks v high in this picture. Think about this, right? Is being high an advantage? Cause he's like he's not really gonna care, but I'm a punch. He's gonna be like, dude, what was that for? Bro, chill out, dude, all right? Chill out, okay. Dude, dude, don't make me, don't make me fight you, bro. Don't, don't make this harder than it has to be. Pop, pop, boom. Man, y'all got any pizza? That's what I'm thinking right there. But then again, he's gonna be like, dude, why'd you hit me? And then I'm gonna go, pop, because you know I got the best name ever. So I'm not gonna miss a shot. Smackdown, Smackdown. All right, he's not gonna be cognitively there. Next up, we got Casper the Friendly Ghost. It's very hard to kill ghosts. I had to call it the Ghostbusters, right? Be like, hey, yo, I got a ghost here in the ring with me. Help me out. He's just gonna take my soul, and I'll be like, hey, I got a ghost in the, and then it's game over for me. So that's I'm getting destroyed by him. I hate to say it, but it's the truth. Okay, next up, we got this guy. He looks tired. He looks like he just pulled an all-nighter, but it'll wake him up real quick. He'll he'll 
throw down a five hour energy and he's good for five hours or something like that. If you drink two five hour energies, do you have double the energy for five hours or 10 hours of energy? I'm going easy W for this, by the way. What's up this guy right here? This is a SmackDown for sure. He looks like Sid the Sloth from Ice Age. No joke. Okay, next up we have Zion Williamson. All right, I watched this guy in college when he played for Duke. It was pretty cool. I do remember one thing very vividly. When he busted his shoe, right? He was playing and then he went for a cut and his shoe just blew out, right? So that's most likely going to happen when he's fighting me in my scenario. Shoe blows out, that's a distraction for him, probably a distraction for me too. So it depends on which one of us gets undistracted first, okay? If he gets distracted and I get distracted and then I'm like, oh, I'm going to fight, and he's still distracted, boom, that's me, he punched. But if I'm still distracted and he's like, oh, I'm still going to fight, boom, that's a punch for him. He's probably going to one punch me, I'm done, okay? Very strong guy, right? But, but, hear me out, hear me out. I'm going to be faster, right? I'm going to be quicker, you know, speed, you know? I am speed, as my old friend Lightning McQueen would say. So it's really contingent on which one of us gets undistracted by his shoe first. If I get undistracted, that's a win for me. If he gets undistracted, that's a win for me. So it only makes sense that it's a toss-up. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of this tier list. Take a good gander at this tier list. Okay, this is a legendary tier list. Okay, beautiful, undeniably 100% accurate. So any NBA players watching this right now that are on this list, come on, come for me. Come on, I'm, I'm waiting. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you disagree with anything on this tier list and you're like, dude, LeBron James would absolutely destroy you. Put it in the comments. Let me know, all right, so I can think about that, okay? And I'll respond, of course. Make sure to like. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to have a wonderful day tomorrow. And I will see all y'all later.